Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to do something very interesting. We're going to compare two different brand new straight shaft 17 inch weed trimmer weed whackers. The first one we're going to test is the Husqvarna 128 LD. This sells for about $249. And over here, we have the Wild Badger, also 17 inch straight shaft, weed trimmer, weed whacker. The only difference is, this is a 26 cc engine, and this is a 28 cc engine. They both have a 17 inch wide diameter cutting path. This one does come with an extra um, brush cutter blade, 10 inch, that you can attach for some really high weeds and high brush, where this one doesn't. They're both similar in the fact that they're both straight shafts, both 17 inch and about 26, 28 cc inch. The price difference is that the Husqvarna, a brand name from Sweden, costs about a hundred bucks more. So let me unpack both of these, get them both started, and we're gonna test each of these things. We're gonna see which one we like better. So, I've taken both weed trimmers out of their boxes and I installed both of them. You saw in time lapse, it took me about five minutes to install the Husqvarna. Very easy to install, didn't even look at the instructions. Wild Badger, on the other hand, when I opened it out of the box, the damage over the here, washers and the attachment nuts all flew off. So, I had to look at the instructions to figure out this way or this way. Fatter one, thinner one. Bolt, cup. The bolt and the cup is when you want to fasten the 10 inch brush cutter blade that comes with it. You don't need these if you are using the weed trimmer, string trimmer uh, assembly on there. It fastens on counterclockwise against the direction. It also comes with this um, harness thing that you wear and basically this is a pad here to protect the area here so that you can lay that on there. I've been doing this a long time and I have professional landscapers all around the place. I have never seen anyone use this. So it just seems like you want to trim your weeds or edge your lawn. I'm not going to put this on. You know, so this is, this is a waste. Nobody will ever use that. I mean, not nobody, but I won't. <laughs> the Husqvarna came with a small two-stroke oil. The Wild Badger did. The Wild Badger also was a little bit more difficult to put together. Uh, it came with two of these Allen fake keys, some zip ties, a spark plug removal tool, and a wrench. I haven't used the wrench yet. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Uh, here is where you affix that harness thing. Over here is a hand guard. Basically, if you put your hand here and you're, you're cutting brush, the brush doesn't hit your hand. So it's a guard against hitting your hand, okay? That's what this is. Um, putting this on took a long time, okay? It has like a rubber part that copes onto there and then you put the clamshell on like that and then the four bolts that go through. I was tightening the fourth bolt and I could not tighten it. And then I look in the back and the nut came out. So I had to look for the nut, put it back in here, and finally we got it tight. This is an honest review, right? Sometimes you want to twist this to edge. So you want to turn this so it's comfortable. Because these are attached on with Allen keys, you'd have to bring an Allen key to loosen it up and turn it. As you see with the Husqvarna, it's a wing nut. Just loosen it and it'll turn. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, you can do it right there. See, you can turn it to the side or the other side or right here so that you can pivot it 
easily. Ease of installation, five minutes if that at all. They give you the oil, you're able to adjust on the fly. Connection of the attachments. These two models have the ability to attach other accessories that they offer, such as a hedge trimmer or a saw or a blower or whatever. An attachment that you can buy separate as an option, accessories that you can plug in. Uh, really easy to use. You just uh, loosen this wing nut over here. You press the button and it comes right out. Put it back just like that and tighten it. So to switch over to other accessories is very simple. Uh, the Wild Badger took me a while to fit it in there and it pretty much was the same thing, but it, it was just a little bit harder, okay? Push the button, this comes out, put it back in and tighten. So pretty much the same thing but it, it's a little bit more less smooth, if you know what I mean. As for weight, I'm gonna pick up both of these things and I'll tell you the weight comparison. They're both about the same weight, okay? <laughs> Honestly, they're both pretty heavy <laughs> because they're, you know, they're, they're significant uh, machines. They're, they're long and they're, you know, and if you look at the engine itself, while this is technically a smaller engine at 26 cc's, this 28 cc looks smaller than this. So now I'm going to put some two-stroke oil in there to make it a fair comparison. I'm not going to mix my own. I'm going to get pre-mix 50 to 1 and pour it in there. That way they both have exactly the same fuel so we can test it. Let's find out how easy or hard it is for these to start up. I'm going to add the fuel now and I've read both instruction manuals and they both take 50 to 1 oil to gas fuel mixture ratio. I'm using this pre-mix gas. Just going to pour this in. This is ready to go. I have an issue because look, this part here gets in the way of the cap. So it's hard to pour stuff in here. You can see it's wide open so it's not hard to pour in there nothing's blocking it so i don't have to lift it up i can just pour it since we poured the gas for the wild badger first we'll try to start this up now there is a primer bulb on the bottom. Start orange, run red. Okay, we're going to put it to start. We're going to remove this. Now we'll prime it. Primer bulb is on the bottom. For the very first time, you want to make sure that you're sucking the gas up, the uh, fuel filter and the return lines coming back, and the fuel is coming out the return line. And I feel fuel readily going through both pipes, uh, hoses, as well as the primer bulb. So that's like 15 right there. So it's on start, which should be choke. Let's give it a try. Uh, this is always spring loaded to on, and you just momentarily press the O for stop. This is the safety and then the trigger, okay? So it's just start, you should just be able to pull it and starts. Okay, once you hear that a little bit, you take it to run. Nice. Let it warm up a little bit. Give it some throttle. Easy to start, started right away, 
and it didn't bog down at full throttle. So now let's try the Husqvarna. It is similar uh, where the choke is here, open choke, open flap is there. So you're gonna choke it, right? That means the choke flap is closed. I'm gonna put this level just like I did that one. I'm pressing the primer bulb and I start to, like, do you see fluid? I do. So fuel is now filling the primer bulb. Although not at feel, I don't feel it as much as this one. This one, you could feel the fluid going into the primer bulb. This one feels like it's half air. Either way, we'll give this a try. So that's like 15 also. And so we'll give this one a pull. Same thing, spring loaded off, always continuous on, unless you turn it off momentarily. Uh, same thing, safety, grab, trigger, choke, primed, gas, let's go. Ooh, okay, so it's, it zipped a little bit, you put it to run. Let's keep this at choke and let it warm up. Put it in the middle. Warm it up for a second. And put it to full run. I'm gonna be honest, the startup experience was far easier with the Wild Badger. It was kind of difficult to start the Husverna. Also, keeping it running took a little bit of warming up with the throttling. Also, when you're throttling, it didn't need any adjustments because it is, I feel like you could actually open it up more with the uh, low and high air fuel mixture screw. You could open it up more um, to have it run more lean um, but they both are set by the factory and they both expect the throttle to be acceptable is what it is uh, like i said i think the husverna is feels less powerful than that one believe it or not it's just my opinion The responsiveness isn't that good, all right? Okay, it holds idle, okay? Just need to be warmed up a little, but it is 80 degrees here. Responsiveness. <laughs> so, really surprising. I feel that it was easier to start the Wild Badger, harder to start the Husqvarna, 
Husqvarna actually stalled a few times and I had to continue to try to keep it running. Responsiveness kind of boggy on the Husqvarna. Responsiveness on the wall badger is really good. I'm very surprised. Like I said, they weigh about the same. They both take 50 to 1. They both have 17 inch diameter. The bonus is that the wild badger comes with a brush blade and also that harness thing, which nobody will ever use, trust me. But right now, I could save a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'd rather have the wild badger. <laughs> you know what, I, I use it for a bit and uh, buy another one. <laughs> it's much cheaper than the Husqvarna. All right, let's try it. <laughs> try to throttle up fast in the stall. So this half is the Husqvarna. Did a good job before it stalled. So, responsiveness is much better with the Wild Badger. I will say though that it was a little difficult to get a um, flat, even cut because I feel that this guard is too low. If it was higher, I would be able to pivot more. You know what I mean? So I think this is too low. It won't allow me to. Also, I don't really like straight shafts. I would prefer the curved ones, believe it or not, because you could easily turn it and uh, edge. And also it's easier to weed whack because of a straight edge, it's not, that it's not that hard because I'm short, that's why. If I was taller, I guess a straight would be okay. But that's just my personal preference. So they equally did a good job in edging. Uh, I think the Husqvarna was a little bit more awkward for me, hard to balance to get a straight line. I actually went offline because of how awkward it felt. Wild Badger was really easy, it's one straight cut. As you can see, the first line here is straight, second part, not so straight. It was only because I wasn't used to it. So it was a little easier to get adapted to the Wild Badger. As you saw again, quick attempts to have the responsiveness on the throttle caused it to um, stall. 
I think it needs an adjustment on the high-low air fuel mixture. But listen, people buying it right out of the box shouldn't have to do that, right? I'm gonna adjust it anyway, and let's see if it runs better. So now, throttle is better, but it still doesn't isn't as responsive as the Wah Badger. <laughs> Top end throttle is very good, but it's still not responsive. <laughs> See, it wants to stall. I've adjusted it all kinds of ways. So uh, it does run better at high throttle. So you just ease into it. But the Wild Badger, very responsive. No adjustment needed for the Wild Badger. Simpler to put together, Husqvarna. They're both the same weight. They both have the same, about the same performance. Yeah, Wild Badger maybe didn't cut as well as the Husqvarna when it comes to regular weed whacking or trimming. Edging, the Wild Badger was better. The responsiveness of the Wild Badger was better. Ease of starting is much better. So all in all, they're both pretty good. But honestly, I really like the responsiveness of the throttle. So if you're talking about the difference between $100, Husqvarna being about 250 bucks, and then the Wild Badger being only 150 bucks, I'd rather have the Wild Badger. So that's my review before it starts raining too hard. Uh, had a good time comparing these two. They're pretty close. But if you want to save 100 bucks and get better responsiveness, get the Wild Badger. I'll leave a link in the description. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.